It is common to import 2D and AutoCAD files into Revit, typically at the beginning stages. However, there are situations where the reverse is needed. I recently faced this issue when I had to share a file I was working on with the structure team. Since they exclusively used AutoCAD, I had to export my Revit file to DWG format. And now I'm going to show you the right and easy way to do that. So first thing you need to do is to add all of the furniture, all of the annotations like dimensions, tag, text, grid, levels, and things like this that you usually add to your documents. After we make sure all of them are set in all of our views that you want to export, we need to go to File and Export. Go to CAD Formats and select DWG. In here, we have two different parts. First part is for changing the setting, layers, pattern, anything that you can see in here. And the second part is for selecting the views and the sheets that you want to export. Let me first talk about this selection part and then we can change the setting. So in here you can see the preview of whatever that you have included to this part and you can change it from here. So you can either create a new set from this part, you can change the name or you can just simply call it set number two. Then from this list that you can see in here, you can select anything that you want to export. So I want to export only these two plans, these two architectural plans. So I'm going to only check these two, this floor plan and also this one. Now I'm going to export these two without changing any setting from the first part just to show you how it looks this way. Click on next and in here you just need to assign a path for it. I'm going to just save it on my desktop. In this part you can change the version of the file. I'm going to set it on this one and OK. We have these two separated files in here and I'm going to open both of them. Perfect. This is the dimension plan and this one is the furniture plan that I have set before. As you can see the pattern or should I just say the hatch is a little bit annoying in here and also in this part I don't really like the coloring of different layers. We have a lot of layers in here as you can see and actually we can change them. So if you want to change these type of things, we need to go back to Revit and set them there. So click on file and export again. And this time we are going to go to modify export setup. In here, we have a lot of different options. First, I'm going to create a new set just to save all of these settings for future export. I'm going to go with B set. Now, in layer tab we have category section so if i close all of these parts you can see that we have a few different categories in here the main changes that i want to have on my dwg file is on model category and annotation categories so if i open it and if i scroll down to this part i can see the wall section I think we should have all of the walls on white color but if you go to AutoCAD you can see that they are on green. If you click on it you can see its layer with its name and color. In here you can see that we have color 113 which is the code for this color and if you want to change it you need to see what color is the white. If I click on this part, you can see it's 255. So if you want to have all of your colors on white, you need to use this number on Revit. So if we go back to here, you can see that we have the color ID, which is on 113. And this is the name of the layer. So we can change it if we want. Let me just add a 2 to here. And then I'm going to select all of the walls like this. And in here, I'm going to change this number to 255. Five, five, and all of them will be changed after that we have the window with this layer name and this color id so if you want to change this window to another color maybe to a blue color you can again select the line and go back to this color id and let's say we want this color 
so i'm going to insert this number 141 for all of the windows we need to go back to here and import the same code for all of the windows and like this you need to repeat it for all of the parts for example it's important for me to have all of the furnitures in one color all of the doors windows and walls in separate colors and you have to change all of them from this model category this is exactly like the visibility and graphics section and you can find all of the categories in this part for example let's say you want to change the areas maybe the columns maybe the generic models and all of those things you can find them in here you can change their layer and also their color id so after this we have the annotation category in here you need to open it and change everything that you want for example it's important for me to have all of the annotations like these dimensions these grid lines and also all of these tags on gray color so i'm going to go to annotation category and first i'm going to change the dimension in here you need to find the dimension it's here and you need to change its color I want to have them on gray so I need to check the color ID I'm going to select the line and from this part I'm going to click on one of the color I can see its color code and I'm going to use it on the Revit in here I'm going to change this one to 9 and also I want to change the grids so I'm going to find the grids it's here I will change this one to 9 also or if you want you can change them to another colors and also I would like to change the tags area tags so I'm going to search for a tag and in here I can see all of the tags I want the area tag so I'm going to change this one to 9 and also if you want to change any other thing you can find its category and change its color this was simply everything that i needed for my dwg file but if you need anything more you can search for it or search between these different categories and i'm sure you can find it the second part is about lines in here we have two different parts we have line patterns in revit which you can see them in here and we have line types in the wg file you can see by default it's on automatically generate line type but if you want to have a special line type for example let's say we want to keep the line type of the grid in here we need to find the grid this one this one or whatever grid that you have used and in here you can change its line type in autocad so I'm going to set it on something similar to the line type that we had in Revit, maybe this one. And that's it, we will have this type of line type for our grids in DWG file. Actually, we can also change it in AutoCAD manually too, but this is another way that we can change it from here for all of the other exports too after that we have the pattern section and like the lines we have the fill patterns in revit and hatch pattern in dwg file you need to check your pattern before and you need to keep it in your mind and then change it in here after that we have text and fonts too which is basically exactly like the patterns and lines section and then we have the colors so we changed all of the colors for different parts in here in the layers tab and we don't need to change anything for this part then we have the solids which is used for only 3d views if you want to export the 3d view of the model that you have in revit you can use this tab and you can set it on polymesh or acis solids you can check both of them and see which one is better for you and then we have the units and coordination let's set the units on metr and the coordinate base should be on internal origins and at the end we have the general section which i don't think we need to change anything only for this part which is the format of the file that you want to save and i said that we can change it in the next step too but you can change it from this part too i'm going to set it on this one 
and OK. Now that we have saved all of those changes in BSet, let's see this time how the DWG file will look like. Now just assign a name and the path for the file and OK. Now if you open the DWG file, you can see that all of the walls are on white color as you can see in here. And the window is on the same color that we had put them on 141 this code and also all of the dimensions and tags and also the grid lines are on the gray that we had set before these are grid heads and you need to change their color separately so if you see all of them on red this is because we didn't change their category and also about the line type that we changed for grid lines if you select one of the grid lines you can see that its type is on center as we said it before the reason that we can't see it in here is because of its scale so if we go to other in this part you need to select it and click on this show details in here you can change its scale i'm going to put it on for example something like this and okay now all of the grid lines are on the same line type as I said, you can change everything that you want from this part too. For example, let's say you want to change this hatch. You can change its color and set it with the line color. And also you can change their pattern. So simple like this, you can apply your own setting for all of the exports that you have. And with this, you can save a lot of time and export a perfect DWG file. I really hope this was helpful for you and you enjoyed watching it. See you soon.